Sea Sparkles Corner, and today is June 30th, 2016. We're about to go into Regency Square Mall, a mall that used to be at its prime back, dear, back during the great economic times of plenty. Until AMC moved out. And uh, I'm standing at where about AMC 6 Theaters was. It was. Today, Due to, the, due to the direction that Regency Square Mall is going at, I felt it is my duty to catalog what is left in the mall. Which is nothing. So, enjoy, enjoy sure. this filming. Come along.
actually better off. They used to run this train here for little kids to ride around back when it was more busy. Fortunately, the Sunshine Express train I right, suppose until further notice. Except for Spencer's gift and FY. Except for Spencer's gift and FY. And electronic fatigue. Yeah. And getting stuff. So we're gonna order some lunch and then we're gonna critique. And hamburger and fries. Yeah, yeah. Homage to what used to be a great mall. We've ordered, uh, we're treated us to lunch here for the last time. I got a hamburger and french fries. My mom got nuggets and french fries. And David got nuggets, a hamburger and fries. So let's give it a try. Good hamburger. Thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. David, did you recall? Well, like I said, they say the fries used to be better. Go up and put ketchup on it. I think it's a lot of money, but it's very fun. That's the burger. Well, burger, burger looks like it's got stripped down a little bit too. It's at everything. It's really thin for everything. Can't expect you to be busy the street. That's pretty good. What do you think of your fries and your little nuggets? They're all right. They're eatable. They're hot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to walk around the outside of this end of the mall and see what stores are left and if anywhere is actually a unlocked door where I can honestly actually legally enter to film this half of the mall. Also, I'm interested to see how much they've done to actually hide entrances to this end of the mall. So let's have some fun, shall we? Oh, by the way, I'd let y'all know I'm actually on my own right now.
Yellow's corporate office essentially objects to having video footage inside their stores being done. I would like all of our viewers to please inform other YouTube channels and shoppers of this fact. And in a nutshell, boycott Dillard's for it. It is a corporate policy from the higher ups. I ask. I asked the store cashier who told me to I'm not allowed to film in there and he told me that uh, he told me that it is a corporate office decision. Basically, Dillard's objects to history cataloging videos being filmed of their stores when they're part of history. So because of this, in my opinion, Dillard's objects to history, so therefore they don't deserve to exist as a chain. So boycott them. Don't shop in Dillard's, don't give Dillard's any of your money. If you have anything related to Dillard's, otherwise if debit cards or credit cards, close them down, get rid of them. Stop helping Dillard's to survive. Clearance them to nothing. This is the outside of Sears and basically it's already down to selling store fixtures and the Sears jeweler is already gone and most of the vending machines are empty and they fairly basically just shut the glass exit into into the actual section of Regency that's adjacent to and put a whole bunch of stuff in front of it. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to film inside Sears, and quite frankly, after what happened to Dillard's, I'm not in the mood to bother. <clears throat> Back when Sears was actually <laughs> all the way open, this was a Sears automotive section. This is where you would actually be able to come in and get your tires and oil changes done. So, yeah, it's kind of gone. Addendum actually.
actually Sears still has a few tools left in there. So it's basically not all the way down to exactly just store fixtures being for sale. They are selling store fixtures in some parts, but they do have some inventory in like exercise and tools.
tons of footage that's going to be fun cutting, editing, and putting mm. music to and whatever. And uh, so I decided to call it a day. Plus, it's really kind of hot. It's going to probably storm soon. So I hope you all enjoyed this look at Regency Square Mall as it stood on June 30th, 2016. And unfortunately, by the looks of it, either a development company took over part of Regency or actually bought out Regency on account of some of the old entrances to the closed section is called now Discount Outlet or something like that, as you'll start in the video. So I don't know if that means basically reach the Square Mall as we know it is going to be gone soon. If that is, then it's all the more important that I actually did this. Or if part of the mall is being changed and what's left here at this section is going to still be called Regency. I don't know. Uh, what actually probably did end reach the Square Mall ultimately was the fact that they charged you rent and a percentage of your profits. And in a suffering economy, that don't work. Plus, with other malls charging less than that, it didn't help reach the all that much either. And in my opinion, honestly, when Woolworth left before we had a YouTube channel, I think that was pretty much the beginning of the decline. I hope you enjoyed this look at cataloging this piece of history. So, thank you for watching. I'm not going to ask you your memories of the Regency Square Mall because probably most of you ain't anywhere near here. In my opinion, it's just us, the YouTube community, where each of us lives at, it's our individual responsibilities to catalog points of change in history. That's why I did this. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you relatively enjoyed the video. I just apologize if the words does not film in the stores. So that was a mess. Thank you for watching.